Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okey, jumpa lagi. Uh, so this is a uh, part 2 of business intelligence and also data warehouses. Okey. Chapter 13. Alright, so before this eh, in our previous uh, parts, eh, part 1 uh, we are we stop here eh, slide number 22 eh, sorry slide number 24 and eh, we stop here and for today eh, we're going to continue with uh, slides number 25 that is a star star schema okay so if let's say eh, you all look into this uh, scheme of works okay we are supposed to be here right so we are supposed to be here in data warehouse star schema data analytics and also online analytical processings okay we have done uh, part one here okay? part one is here data warehouse eh? that needs for data analysis business intelligence decision support system and also a little bit about the data where data warehouse uh, okay so let's uh, continue eh, with the slide number 25 for Star schema, data analytics, and also online uh, analytical process processing. Okay, so all right, let's. Uh, oops, okay. Escape first. Uh, okay, so let's start from the current slide. Slides number 20, 25. Okay, so this is what we call as a star schema. Okay, what is a star schema? Okay, I will explain later. Okay, in this uh, chapter. Okay, this is what we call as a data modeling techniques. Okay, for what? Eh, to map a multi-dimensional decision support data into a relational database. Okay, so when we talk about relational, this is our database, meaning that in our table. Okay, based on the ta table. Okay, relational database uh, or relation database. Okay, number two is... Uh, to create uh, the near equivalence of multi-dimensional database schema from existing relationals or more database okay so we talk about relational also here okay meaning that's based on the ta table okay, 2d row and column row and column okay and also yields an easily implemented model for multi-dimensional data analysis okay so multi-dimensional meaning that okay so in this case we have only 2d okay when we talk about 2d this is our database is relational meaning that we have a table we have a columns and also row okay then maybe we can put in the multi-dimensional data analysis model okay so let's move to the next one <coughs> okay component of a star schema okay it's actually what is a star schema okay star schema is uh, if let's say you can imagine okay number one it is based on the okay so it is based on the table eh, like I mentioned earlier okay this is our table okay so we have another what we call as a table here something like this okay so in our case in the simple case this is what we call okay ERD yeah, if let's say you can still remember okay but then this diagram looks like a star okay so that's why we call it as a star schema it looks like a star okay uh, so uh, okay so if let's say you can see here okay, it will looks like a star so we have one star here eh? one one uh, branch here one branch here one branch here and eh? so that's why this is what we call as a star star schema eh? so this is the data modeling and eh? this is the data modeling but then the model is based on the the star uh, okay so let's uh, continue with this one okay so components of the star schema here okay number one we have a fax okay fax is a numeric values that represent a specific business aspect okay i will talk about it later eh? what is fax what is dimension and so on okay and then we have a dimensions okay qualifying characteristic that provide additional perspective to a given uh, fax okay qualifying characteristic that provide additional perspective and eh? we have uh, we can add something eh? to the facts here and the next one is attributes used to search filter and also classify the facts okay attribute for the facts here 
yeah, to classify, to filter and so on. And also we have a slice and dice ability to focus on slice of the data cube for uh, more details analysis. And the next one is provide a top-down data organization. Okay, so let's move to the next one. <coughs> okay, normally, a star schema representation is facts and a dimensions represented by a physical table in the data warehouse. Okay, talk about the table. Okay, facts and also dimension represented by a physical tables in the data warehouse. Okay, normally, uh, many to many relationship between facts table and each dimension tables. Uh, okay, I will talk about this later. I will explain later. Okay? Maybe I use uh, different uh, tools later. Okay, and facts and dimension tables eh, related by the foreign keys and subject to primary key and also foreign key. Okay, just uh, to understand is better. Okay, I will explain here. Okay. Alright, so if let's say, uh, okay. Okay, so this is our table. Okay, so number one, this is what we call as a tables. Okay, so the they call it as a many to many. Okay, when we talk about many to many, of course, eh, if let's say you still can remember, okay, it will create a bridge. Okay, right? all right, so it will create a bridge. Let's say for this example, uh, <coughs> we have student. Okay. And then we have a lack lecturer here. Okay, if let's say many to many something like this. Okay, just make it a shortcut. Many, many. Of course, in between, eh, we need to create a, a bridge. Okay, so in this situation, okay, maybe I create one bridge here. Okay, this is what we call as a bridge. Okay, student. Let's say for example, student a lecturer uh, teach a student. Student taught by a lecturer okay let's say here is teach uh, so this is teach yes lecturer teach a student and student taught by a lecturer okay so at the end of the day we can put teach here uh, okay in between okay so this is what we call as a many to many representation okay so when we talk about many to many of course at the end of the day we will create a table here okay uh, table bridge okay, inside this Okay, and then after that, <coughs> and we can see that maybe uh, there's another table here. Okay, if let's say for example, okay, something like this. Okay, so teach also the uh, the bridge eh, for these tables. Okay, so in these situations, okay, if let's say we can see here, okay, it doesn't matter like, whatever the names of this table. Just I want you to imagine. Okay, so in these situations teach is actually the connecting table okay this is in star schema we call it as a fax and this is a fax and fax will create a dimension this is what we call as a diamond dimensions all this is dimension whatever names it is okay dimension dimension dimensions okay so all the attribute and we'll talk about will uh, talk about the details of the the facts here. Okay, so that is why. Okay, I, I uh, close here. Okay, so if let's say we have teach here. Okay, teach. Maybe we have another. This is lecturer. Maybe this is student. Okay, and then we have something else here. Maybe yeah. just an example. Okay, so this is actually a a facts. Okay, then all the the table that based on this fact is we call it as a diamond dimension. This is dimension, this is dimension, this is dimension, and this is also dimensions. Okay, so if let's say you see eh, this diagram looks like a star. Okay, this is why why they call it as a star schema. Okay, so go back to the slides. 
Okay, go back to the slide. Okay, so that's why reflex say, eh, you all read again the the star schema representations. Okay, number one, we have effects and also dimension represented by a physical tables. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, eh, that is based on the table in the data warehouse. Okay, we store this table in data warehouse and this is come from many to many relationships between facts tables and also each dimension tables. Uh, okay, so this is facts table. All right, uh, this is facts table. All right, and this is dimension, each dimension, 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 dimensions. And towards the end, it will look like a star schema and a facts and dimension tables related to, by a foreign key. And subject to primary key and foreign key constraint. Okay, so of course, and yeah, when we talk about this one, okay, so we need to link all this based on the primary key. Let's say here we have a primary key. Of course, kat sini kita akan ada foreign key for lect lecturer. Sini kita ada primary key for student. Sini kita akan ada foreign key for stu student. Okay, then sini kita ada also primary key. This is also kita akan ada foreign key this is other primary key kat sini pun kita akan ada foreign key ah, okay so that's uh, what we call as a uh, primary key and also uh, foreign key okay so there will links at eh, each other through primary key and also foreign key so that's why this is actually the bridge eh, based on the many to many relationships okay so now i think you can understand eh, the the star schema representation here okay number one facts and dimension represented by tables okay based on the many to many and related by foreign key and also subject to a primary primary key uh, okay so let's move to the next one okay prime <coughs> primary key of a facts table is a composite primary key because the facts table is related to many dimension tables uh, okay facts kat tengah tengah okay dan dia akan ada many dimension 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 ok itu maksud dia facts kat tengah-tengah and allows form by combining combining a foreign key pointing to the related dimension tables ok that's why kalau macam saya sebut tadi kalau di tengah-tengah ni kat sini all the foreign key kat sini kan ok this foreign key foreign key foreign key and pointed to the primary key here Okay, primary key, primary key, and also primary key. And then towards the end, inilah dipanggil sebagai star schema. Eh? Because it looks like a star. Eh? Rupa dia macam star. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, techniques used to optimize data warehouse uh, design. Okay, normally we can normalize the dimension tables. And the next one is, we have another terms here. We call it as a snowflake schema. Okay. Why, why this is called it as a dimension schema, uh, snowflake schema? Dimension tables can have their own dimension tables. Okay, let's look at this uh, example here. Okay, if let's say this is our facts table, this is our dimension table, this is our dimension tables, this is another dimension tables. And this is also other dimension tables. Okay, if let's say the dimension produce another dimension here, for example, something like this dimension. This is also produce another dimension. This is also produce another dimension. Okay, maybe this is also produce another dimension. This is what we call as a snow snowflake. Uh, okay, because it looks like a snow before this. Before this, okay. Alright, before this, yang ini. Okay, rupa macam star. And towards the end, dah gabung. And dimension, produce another dimension. Then towards the end, this is what we call as a snow, snowflake. Because the the diagram looks like a snowflake, empangan, eh, empangan pula, empingan. Uh, salji eh? we call it as a slow flakes ok so let's move to this one again ok so the next one 
to what what is the purpose eh, to maintain multiple facts tables to represent a different aggregation level okay so dimension can have their own dimension okay dimension produce another dimension and this is what we call as a denormalizing the facts uh, tables uh, okay so that's why eh, in normalization we have first normalization second third boys called normalization and sometimes we have fourth normalization after fourth normalization is actually denormalized back to the first one okay maybe uh, this is another levels of uh, normalization okay after fourth normalization maybe we can denormalize again back to the to the square one number one again okay uh, this is happen in basically in a big data environment okay next Okay, technique used to optimize data warehouse design. Okay, macam mana kita nak optimizekan data tersebut? Okay, so number one, we can use partition and also replicating tables. Okay, partitions mean splitting split tables into subsets or row or column and place them close to customer location. Okay, we talk about this in a distributed database management system. Okay. So that's why saya tak nak cerita detail-detail sangat. Eh, we talk about this in distributed database. Okay, we can uh, partition the table. Kita splitkan dia, and then after that, pass the split tu into the customer location. Uh, contoh, Syed Alam akan pass data-data serban kepada serban. Okay, number two is replication. Replicate. Okay, the keyword is copy. Make copy of the tables and place it in the different location. It's going to be the same. Eh, Syed Alam copy the table, put in serban. For example and periodicity eh, provides information about the times of the data stored in the table okay we need uh, this is something related to the to the times okay uh, let's move to the next one ah okay next is data analytics eh, we talked about this uh, before this okay data analytics eh, this is something related to big data okay and compass a wide range of mathematical statistical and modeling techniques to extract knowledge from the data eh, if you can still remember data turn into info info turns into knowledge knowledge turns into wis wisdom uh, or xp experience uh, okay so we need uh, this kind of things because we need a model techniques and so on and this is subset of business in uh, Business Intelligent Functionality, eh, part one before this. Okay, so the next one, okay, classifications of tools, explanatory analytics, focus on discovering and explain data characteristic and relationship based on existing data. Okay, maksudnya kita gunakan the existing data, eh, ataupun maybe kita boleh buat predictive. Uh, okay, focus on predicting future outcome with a high degree of accuracy. Ya, macam sekali lah COVID-19, okay predict macam ni okey tapi sebenarnya data kita macam ni the actual kita menurun okey tapi kita predict naik because of dekat sini kita ada satu what we call as a PKP kalau tak ada PKP maybe data kita yang predict tu akan akan ikut trend lah uh, but then because of PKP PKPB and so on so data actual data tadi tak is not based on the prediction so dia akan menurun dia menurun lah. okey so this is what we call as a business intelligence eh, before this <laughs> Okay, and the next one is uh, data mining. Okay, the keywords for data mining is hidden. Yeah. Uh, okay, talk about this later, uh, before this. Yeah, hidden. Uh, analyzing a massive amount of data, uncover hidden trend, pattern, or relationships. Form computer model to stimulate and explain the find the findings. Use the model to support business decision making. Uh, okay. So, meaning that kita kena mine eh, all this information. We need to mine the information. Okay, we need to find the hidden trend, maybe patterns and eh, relationship. Then, stimulate eh, and then make a decision. Okay, run into two modes. Number one is guided, number two is automated. Uh, okay, so uh, guided meaning that kita akan ada something the model dan sebagainya. Eh, then, number two is maybe automated. Eh, dia step, step forward, kita boleh dapat uh, the information. Okay. Extracting knowledge uh, from the data. Okay, this is also based on the previous one. Eh? Like the previous one. So, okay, we have a, here is data. Transform into information. Transform into knowledge. And lastly is wisdom. So, that's why at the end of the day, our KKM 
akan ada experience lah eh? akan ada experience eh? how to handle covid-19 because of all this data knowledge and also information eh? based on the the previous uh, data okay so we have we use all these techniques eh? or labs or LTP or labs data mining data warehouse predictive analytic data mining and so on okay to produce data information and also no knowledge okay next okay data mining phase uh, okay so i'll talk about this and it's very simple and short okay data preparations okay identify data sets and then make analysis okay classification of the data clustering link and so on and transform into the knowledge acquisition phase selects eh? we use the algorithm maybe certain algorithm decision trees okay everything here is based on the big data we will talk about this later then after that we prognosis the data and we can have a modeling forecasting and also predict prediction is very tedious job my very tedious work but then if let's say you have all this knowledge okay it's just simply I can jump into a big data environment okay next okay predictive analytics okay employs mathematical and statistical algorithm neural network artificial intelligence and other advanced modeling tools to create actionable predictive model based on available data okay we need to predict uh, predictive kita kena focus and eh, make a forecasting okay next logical step after data mining eh dah kita dah dapat data dah mine the data then we need to predict the data add values to an organizations helps optimize the existing process identify hidden problem anticipate future problem or opportunities uh, okay so eh, kalau let's say um, sekarang ni kita dah nampak dah KKM boleh buat prediction eh, based on the COVID-19 so kita akan nampak eh, kita boleh nampak all the hidden problem eh, apa yang kita boleh buat for future kan kalau perlu PKP dipanjangkan panjang je lah contoh for example because this is the things that we need to 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 do eh uh, so kita kena predict dan kita kena make sure okay make a decision okay next okay this is what we call as all labs tadi and before this or l a p all labs okay online analytical processing eh this is advanced data analysis environment that support decision making business model and also operation research okay uh, so uh, this is also big data and characteristic is multi dimensional data analysis techniques advanced database support easy to use and user interface okay uh, so i will not talk about this in details all right so multi dimensional data analysis techniques uh, okay what is multi dimensional data are processed and viewed as part of the multi dimensional structure okay they view part by parts kat sini okay out number 2 is augmented functions advanced data presentation function advanced data aggregation consolidate consolid, uh, consolidations and also classification functions and advanced computational advanced data modeling so all is advanced uh, okay so of course advanced as funny it is actually is quite uh, complex eh, to do okay next advanced database uh, support again okay. advanced data access features and eh, access to many different kinds of database Uh, okay so macam-macam jenis database kita kena flat files internal external data storage okay so kita kena gabungkan uh, lots of uh, apa tu types of database okay access to aggregated data warehouse data and to the details data found in the operational uh, database okay kita kena access eh, all data-data yang kita dah gabung tadi ni okay advanced data navigation features okay bila dah dapat data then we can navigate rapid and consistent query response times okey bila kita make SQL eh kita straight forward akan dapat data eh rapid sini cepat eh pantas okey dia akan respond eh in shorter time ability okey ability to map and user request to appropriate data source and to proper data access a language okey and also last kali lastly support for a very large database very large big data okay all right next uh, easy to use and user interface uh, okay and user interface meaning that apa yang kita nampak eh at our screens and so on okay proper implementation leads to simple navigations and accelerate decision making or data analysis uh, so that's why 
kat sini biasa kita akan nampak dalam bentuk v visuals okay visualization and people tend to visualize something eh? advanced or labs features are more useful when access in is kept simple eh? we need to make the data sim eh? simplicity simple okay S simplify the data okay and many interface feature are borrowed from previous generation of data analysis tools okay so of course when we talk about analysis visual okay visualization all right next okay this is the OLAPS architecture eh? still uh, same with the previous one okay uh, talk about this in very uh, simple way okay of course number one we have a data we need to extract store the data in data warehouse use all the analytical tools here and at the end of the day present the data here okay? in terms of visuals okay this is all the visualization all right so it's quite simple here okay? straightforward that uh, diagram and this is also all lab server with local miniature data mats okay so we have a data mat here okay we have a data warehouse and inside data warehouse we have data mat and they are using the OLAPS. OLAPS means online. Okay, online. Okay, so this is all the OLAPS GUI. Eh? Uh, so I will think I will talk about this uh, later. Eh? This is uh, quite uh, complicated eh, to understand. Okay, but then all the data is here. Okay, based on the the data provided by the data warehouse here. Uh, okay. So next relational online analytical processing uh, rollups uh, okay before this we have all labs and now we have relational rollups okay when we talk about relational means you can imagine the table yeah okay so provides all lab functionality using relational database databases and familiar re relational tool to store and analyze multi-dimensional data still uh, going uh, Benda yang sama eh? It's the uh, same things eh? It's the uh, same things eh? Data information eh? Then knowledge eh? Then visualize And this is the extensions of added traditional RDBMS technology uh, Before this, we, you are using RDBMS R stands for Relational Database Management System Relational Database So, relational maknanya table Okay, so still benda yang sama Ulang-ulang balik And multi-dimensional data schema support within RDMS. Uh, okay, kita kena support jugalah. Eh, multi-dimensional and data access language and also query perform optimize for multi-dimensional data and lastly support very large database. Okay, so kalau nak simpan dalam table pun, eh, nowadays kita kena make sure boleh support very large database. Uh, okay, next Okay, multi-dimensional online analytical. All right, so this is the extents of of the OLAPS. Okay, another extensions of the OLAPS facility to multi-dimensional database management system, and MDBMS use proprietary techniques store data in matrix like in dimensional. Okay, matrix maksudnya dia boleh gabung-gabung macam ni lah. Eh, kalau tak dulu kita akan gunakan uh, row and columns. Okay, dalam multi-dimensional, eh, we can use matrix and also in this environment we have a 3d data cube 3d data cube is look like this all right so this is what we call 3d so this is one dimension two dimension three dimension okay so 3d cube okay so we have three dimension cube one two and three okay okay one two and three right. so this is what we call as a 3D data cube alright and grow to an, a number draw to a dimension become hyper cubes like if let's say we have more than 3 we call it as hyper cube eh? and dimension maybe 4, 5, 6, 7 ok and helps in memory in the cube cache to speed access ok last is a sparsity measure the density of the data helps in the data cube density maksudnya ketepatan kepadatan data tersebut eh? uh, so kita kena measure all this uh, this data ok next uh, ok relational versus multidimensional ok this is our uh, maybe last two or three slides ok so this is a relational 
versus multidimensional table versus multidimensional okay so in traditional okay relational we are going to use a star schema medium client server support uh, ad hoc and so on okay but for the OLAPs is a large environment support data cube client server and so on okay so that's the difference eh, between relational and also multidimensional okay so in our subject if we concentrate more on the relational here uh, but then compared to the multidimensional okay this is considered small this is considered a big all right okay so the next one sql extension for OLAPs. there's another extension okay this is going to be very fast okay uh, used with the group by clause uh, okay kita dah jumpa dah group by ni right to aggregates by a different dimensions and also enable subtotal for each column list listed except for the last one which get a grand total okay so maksudnya bila kita dah group kita boleh dapatkan dia punya total eh order of column list important and the next one is the cube extension used with the group by clause to generate aggregates to generate aggregates by the listed columns and also includes in the last column so this is all the group by functions and eh? we use the group by functions okay i think this one uh, just is not very important eh, for this uh, for this one eh? so the most important thing is the star schema and so on okay so next is okay materialized view dynamic tables that contain sql query command to generate row and store in the actual row and also create the first time query is run summary row and also stored in the table and automatically update when base table are updated requires specific privilege okay uh, this is materialized view so we need to have a privilege to view this uh, tables eh? and also we can use the sq sql okay so i think uh, with that okay this is the end of our slideshow okay so this is the uh, last uh, slides for chapter number 13 business intelligence and also data warehouse part 2 okay so with that i think uh, thank you very much for listening so hopefully i eh, can see you again in another topics right so with that thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh kita jumpa lagi dalam topik akan datang